Only 0.3% of the Earth's water is drinkable. What would happen if this number was to decrease due to pollution? And a big part of this, non-point source pollution. What is non-point source pollution? Non-point source pollution is pollution generally caused by land runoff, precipitation, and drainage. This pollution also comes from hydro modification, atmospheric deposition, and many other diffuse sources. Due to non-point source pollution, waterways around the world are deteriorating. In the U.S., runoff is a large part of water pollution. The rain washes herbicides, pesticides, and other man-made pollutants into streams, rivers, creeks, and other large bodies of water. Runoff causes many dead zones throughout many bodies of water. The nitrogen and phosphate from wastes and fertilizers cause algae to grow, and when the algae die and decompose, it takes oxygen with it, creating dead zones. The algae that grows also blocks sunlight from getting to plants near the bottom. These excess nutrients can result in occurrences such as fish kills and red tides. Runoff can result in massive damage to the ecosystem and cause many marine animals to die. Additionally, with all the emissions released from cars today, atmospheric deposition has become a large problem. Atmospheric deposition occurs when pollutants in the air fall to the ground as dust, rain, or snow. These can fall directly into water or be washed into it by rain. As the population grows, more miles will be driven by cars and the emissions will increase. Sediment runoff can have many effects on water as well. The sediment that gets carried into the water can make the water cloudy, therefore making it difficult for fish to find food. Sediment that falls into streams can destroy the habitats of small fish and clog the gills of other fish. It can also degrade water quality. Pollution in water greatly affects the multi-billion dollar fishing economy. Non-point source pollution is hard to manage because it comes from multiple sources. But how can we stop this? As an individual, you can dispose of chemicals and oils properly, maintain septic tanks, keep livestock away from streams, and reduce sediment runoff. Ways to decrease atmospheric deposition are just ways to reduce air pollution, such as reducing car emissions. These are many of the main causes for pollution and reduction from these sources would greatly improve the quality of water. There's not much we can do alone, but together we can make a difference.